Hello, my name is Christopher Finley, and I do these things called Five Minute Blessings because I was inspired by my grandma to take a scripture every single day and preach, preach the gospel, share Jesus, and send it to your friends. Don't be afraid. Have faith because you don't know who this could touch. You don't know who this could reach. So just five minutes with me here, and I pray that we could be blessed. I pray this could encourage you for the day. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask God to bless us, give us the Holy Spirit, encourage us through these words. Amen. So there's a need. This is the need. The need is this. There's sometimes when we're trying to get close to God and we realize that everybody else is on their own paths. Everybody else is on their own journeys. And I know for me in my life, I've struggled with that because I've been working on this journey with getting close to God. And sometimes you want to tell things to your family. Sometimes you want to tell things to your friends. And my cousin was talking to me and he said to me, he was like, this is something you got to learn. We not the Holy Spirit. And I realized that I'm like, man, that's a problem. Sometimes we want to see changes in people around us, but that's not our job. Our job is just to plant the seed. And when we realize that, we become more peaceful with how we share Jesus and even how we walk in life, whatever we're trying to share. Because we start to understand that people are on their own journey and we can love them where they are. And if we love them where we, where they are, their, their, their life will be transformed by our example, by Christ working through us. The Holy Spirit is going to do the work. How do we know? If we turn to the scripture in the Bible, what does God have to say about this? In Acts 2, this is when the Holy Spirit was going out. This is verse 41. So those who received his word were baptized and they were added that day about 3,000 souls. So when Peter went to go out there, it just shows you the grace of God. Peter is so good because God is so good because he worked through Peter, even though Peter denied Christ. Why is this important? This is important because... The people who listened to Peter's sermon, they heard Jesus. And when Jesus was preaching, Jesus preached hope. Jesus preached life. Jesus was so cool. He went against everything people thought and he came to the scene and he said, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs are the kingdom of heaven. So now the people who heard that was saying, man, this is different because the way we think is you gotta be rich to be blessed. He's like, no, when you realize you are a sinner, when you realize you need God and you come to God, you're blessed. You're going to have life eternally because you're going to be relying on God and you're going to be looking to Christ as your savior. The fact that he came and died for our sins. And now we know it's not about us, but it's about Christ in me. So Christ forgives me every day. I walk in the newness of life. I don't need to have guilt. I don't need to be ashamed. Why? Because I'm new in Jesus every day. That's the gospel. This is the gospel that needs to go out into the world right now. And I realized this, the Holy Spirit the same people who was at Jesus' sermon, some of those people were at Peter's sermon. Peter was able to take the seed that Jesus planted and watch it grow. So that's the same thing with us. Many times, we just we may just be planting the seed. That's what my cousin explained to me. And I was like, I needed that message. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys. Many times when I'm sharing these little messages, I'm sharing how God is talking to me. Because I need these messages just as much as you need it. How am I going to preach the gospel if I don't know Jesus? So every day I'm trying to get to know Jesus. I'm trying to have the Holy Spirit work in me so I can share it with my friends on Facebook or Instagram. On the, and then maybe somebody could be going through something in their life and they hear about Jesus. And then they start thinking, all right, maybe I need to have a closer relationship with Jesus. And that's how the Holy Spirit will work. So now you hear about Jesus and then somebody else in your life don't know about Jesus. You could tell them, no, you're victim victory is in Jesus. He died for your sins. So everything that you're going through in your life, Jesus could heal you. Jesus could restore you. You could walk with God and actually have peace because we know that it's not about here. It's about heaven. So what happens to your life when you start realizing that it's not about you, it's about the Holy Spirit. You start to walk more peaceful. You start to just do your part. Your part, my part is just to surrender to God. Let Jesus live in us. Show the love, show the fruits of the Spirit, show the grace, show the mercy. When we surrender to God, so it's not us living, but it's Christ in me. And we can actually have peace. Because now we're living, we're a living embodiment of God. And we're worshiping, we're preaching God and Jesus through our life. And that's what I want to invite you to do. Really give your life to Christ. Surrender to Christ. 
Ask Christ to forgive you of your sins, forgive me of my sins, to accept Jesus Christ's salvation on the cross and accept the work of the Holy Spirit in your life, my life, and even around us with our friends and family. To know, just like Philippians 1, 6 says, he who started a good work in you will finish it until the day of Christ Jesus. So even now, the Holy Spirit is working in you. Give yourself a little, like, okay, you're doing good. You're listening to this sermon. You're trying to seek God. God is working in you. God is working in your family. God is healing you. And he's going to finish that healing when he comes back. And he's going to restore us. Because we. this is not our home. Our home is heaven. And we see through technology, through all these things that we don't understand. Yes, there there is a heaven. There can be heaven. But it takes faith. We got to believe that there's a bigger world, world than ourselves. There's a spiritual world. It's not just physical. Everything is not physical. It's spiritual too. Because how we know? Christ is within us. That's spiritual. So this is where I want to ask you to give your life to Christ. Turn back to God. Start reading your Bible. Start believing in the work of the Holy Spirit. Start believing that God loves you and you are special to God. And let Christ live inside of you so you can walk in victory. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we pray that you could transform our lives. You could allow us to believe in the work of the Holy Spirit. Believe in the cross. Give you our worship. Give you our praise. And we could be transformed and allow the work to be done in us so we could be prepared for heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every day I'm making these little videos. You can check out my website, adventpreaching.com. And I pray that maybe one person in your life may need to hear this. Please send it to a friend. Share it with a family. Somebody who needs to hear this message so that more people could come to Jesus and be saved. And we could win more souls for the kingdom of heaven. God bless you. I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you best. God love you. God loves you. Have a blessed day. All right.